Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And uh, something something was announced today that I never thought we would see. I, this is, uh, file this under the WTF. A, sequ a sequel to Fire Festival. No, not the Fire Festival documentaries that they did. They did two of them a couple of years ago, but they're they're actually going to do another Fire Fest uh, with Billy McFarlane. Yeah, they, apparently he got out of jail early. He got out of jail. And uh, Firefest 2 is happening. I know. It's like he's out of jail. What's he do? Let's go do Firefest 2. Oh my God. The, you know, I, 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 I don't have words, but you know what? People are going to go. They're going to go. They're they already gonna... are. They're already buying tickets. I think they're secretly hoping if they go, it's going to be a disaster like the first one. So we're going to talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Uh, you'll get a woohoo if you do. Woohoo. Uh, file this under the WTF files. And uh, for those of you who don't know what Firefest was. Oh, yeah, uh, I have to explain it to people who don't Google know. Google it. It was supposed to be the biggest, baddest music festival ever. The glitziest thing. It was supposed to make Coachella look like a county fair. And it turned out to be a freaking disaster. So all these influencers and celebrities stuff showed up to go, and then there wasn't like there were like tents and there they were, were like, tents and nobody no showed up to perform, and... and it was a yeah, it was it was horrible. It was like it was a scheme. It was a scheme. Now, well, I think they might have started out with the best of intentions, but wound up being a it fell apart, and then it just fell apart. Instead of coming clean, it was yeah. They just tried to keep the lie up, and they had so, your money. So right? he went to do, he he was like I think convicted, and he was supposed to have like six years in prison, but he got out early. And, and now and now, now he's going to do another one. Firefest too. Now he's going to do another one. Oh Firefest. I'm going to make it work this time. Somebody was like, how can you have a second one when the first one never actually happened? Fire Festival 2. So the only the only concrete details we have are the price tag. Yes, we know the prices. That's it. There's no celebrity announcements. Not, and some of the celebrities, I guess, if, if I remember right from the documentaries, they were announcing hadn't even agreed to be in it. That Originally. is, I believe that was a thing. Yeah. Go watch like, the documentaries because they're really good at breaking down what happened. Yeah. Break, breaking down being the, uh, the gist of it. So yeah, this is coming from uh, AV club. It, USA Today has it. They're like, almost, everybody's talking about it. Cause it's like, what the uh, hell? Almost four years behind bars has apparently taught Billy McFarlane nothing. Uh, the infamous fraudster and convicted felons time away from his startup buddies clearly taught him how to seize the opportunity to do the funniest thing possible. Make the impossible happen, announcing Fire Festival 2. A completely straight-faced McFarlane delivers a line that will undoubtedly find its way into the opening of at least one follow-up <laughs> documentary. It's been the absolute wildest journey to get here. Oh, my God. And it really all started during the seven-month stint in solitary <laughs> confinement. McFarlane was placed in solitary for podcasting in 2020, oh, which again clearly no. taught him nothing except how to write a 50 page plan of how I would take this overall interest in demand and fire and how I'd find the best partners in the world to allow me to be me while executing fire's vision to the highest level. Who, what dumbasses out there have money to burn and just be amused to give me money to like, you know, watch me like fall my ass again. While McFarlane initially announced the resurrection through a series of winky tweets. Oh my God. Winky, we're talking about him being in prison. We're talking like like winky faces. Or? No, no, no. Like when okay. he was like making like you know. As hey, I was bent I'm over, back. wink, wink. As I was bent over, <laughs> taking it from behind, I was thinking about how I could fuck over more people, <laughs> and that gave me the 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 idea for uh, Fire Festival Two, which I'll I'll just do it online. It's not even going to be a this real time. Thing. It's going to be a ball pit. It's we're all gonna good. have a ball pit. <laughs> ball pit on the beach. Lady Gaga is going to show up or not. Or it might be just There's a, a bunch of naked dudes. It's a, a little ball pit. Yeah. Uh, his newest progress towards executing the vision is exactly what you'd expect. Just a website selling $499 tickets to nothing. That's the base price. The location, the Caribbean, the date targeted for the end of 2024. The actual event as big as anything has ever been. Step Blink 182 luxury villas in a private plane. Your $499 to $7,000 999999 fire pass secures your access to the festival whatever that may be as well as additional fire events experiences and community so discord <laughs> just, 
I can't. Is it going to be? Is it going to be a Discord? Is he going to charge? Well, what are that? these experiences? There are documentary and film screenings, okay. weekend trips, and something very ominously titled "Firefights." Fire which we're assuming isn't necessarily a reboot of the OG's skirmish to secure rickety tents, wet beds, and rolls of toilet yeah, paper for the was, night. If you've seen the videos, that's what happened. Like they did not have it was not set up. Like the infrastructure was not there. It was never ready. So when the people signed up, they got there and they were supposed to have these big, like, you know, special, you know, like, the exclusive tents and all this stuff. They were little tents with like wet mattresses, wasn't enough food, doesn't enough uh, housing. And they literally were racing each other, fighting each other to see who got. I mean, honestly, if you hate people that are pampered brats and are overindulged and spend a lot of money, you're going to love watching the video <laughs> for this documentary. So the 499. Oh, here we first go. First hundred people. The first hundred people sold out. Okay. Oh, now it's Friday, December 6th. Six. Okay. Oh, so they're trying PM. to make it more legit. All right. So the next the next round for a mere seven hundred and ninety nine dollars. Three hundred dollars more you can get, you know. Oh, and then it increases, so yes. The longer you wait, the more expensive it gets. Eleven ninety nine. It goes all the way up to last chance. Last chance. Eight thousand dollars if you want to get in on on a fire festival. People are gonna do it just to say they did it, you know, just to say they bought the tickets. I mean, because there's a lot of people, there's a lot of stupid people with, with money and they just throw it away at the dumb things. That was what was so amazing about Fire Festival. It was, it was a bunch of stupid Instagram influencers who had to be there. They had to be there because it was going to be the biggest thing ever. Like I said, it was going to make Coachella look absolutely pathetic and they mm-hmm. had to be there. They had to be there and it wound up being the biggest shit show of all time. But let's do another one. I just... That's a takeaway from prison. I had lots of time to think in solitary confinement. How could I get away with it next time? Yeah. That's how, what you, know, you thought how about. How could I actually make it happen so that then I can have Fire Festival 3, 4, 5, and people actually come, and then they'll pay $8,000 minimum because I'll do it right this time. He might be. It might be the, the redemption arc. That's what he's like, trying to do. Like, are we going to redeem Fire Festival so it's not such a big joke? Like, I had to go to prison for the first one, but that was just the opening act. I can't believe this comes out of jail and like first thing he does. Let's have another oh my god dude this is like a, it's this working is, though people are already buying the tickets this is like a movie where you know a, a convicted felon gets out gets his clothes walks out in the street and immediately is like yep let's let's go back to uh you know scamming people let's let's go back to the mob pretty much look, to, okay you know, so when you go into these tickets down here right so the, the next 400 tickets are going to be 800 dollars each then and then the 100 after that are going to be the 1100 or 1200 and then the 50 after that are 1800 and then the 50 after that are 2700 so they go increments of 50 and then the last like 20 some are going to be 8000 so we're saying that there's only going to be 777 tickets for this event apparently yeah okay apparently maybe maybe you go to the what caribbean what a weird number 777 maybe it's it's like a slot machine maybe you go to the caribbean and you get to play a slot machine or something skill know. games skill games yeah skill games <laughs> I'm assuming that the tickets that are the more higher price ones are supposed to be like, you know, they have a lot of perks with them. Uh, but coming soon. Like yeah, you get, soon. you get, uh, you actually get a, a dry sleeping bag. Maybe. No one pissed in it. It's all good. Nobody pissed in it. Um, yeah, you get your, food this time. Your sandwich isn't moldy. Uh, yeah. Oh, it sounds like a fantastic time. I cannot wait. I cannot wait uh, for the end of next year. I can't wait either because I just want to see what happens. I mean, will he will he wind up back in jail before the end of next year? You can probably make more money than he's going to make by placing bets on whether or not this is going to work or not. We need to have fish fest. Fish fest. Fish no. fest. You show it'll just be just it'll like be a ball pit. <laughs> just be a ball pit and some fish sticks. Fish fest. No. We're not. Actually, no. People might take it the wrong way. That could be a very dirty event. Yeah, it's like an OnlyFans thing. We're no. Not do that. Right. Why do you have to? <sighs> Let's wrap this up. Can we please, wrap this up? Please, please. I don't know what to say about this. I'm just like, apparently there's a never-ending supply of stupid people, or at least 777 stupid people with entirely too much money out there. For some people, 500 bucks is like nothing. Like, I'll drop that to see what happens. Just to see what happens. I think it'd be the documentary is one of the people. And you'll get your, your 15 minutes of fame when you're in a documentary about how you got scammed for 500 bucks from, from this guy again. I bet Logan Paul's gone. I, why? Because he's a stupid person? I'm just like. We're going to wrap it up. Yep. 
please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. And we'll talk later. Bye. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.